throughout the Ramayana, what is Ram doing? He follows the law. Even when the law is against him, when it is unfair, he follows the law. So it is entirely unfair that he is sent to exile. But that was what his father had promised. So the contract or the promise has to be enforced. So the so this is a very important thing. So it's throughout the story, you see, he keeps doing that. And now, while that was just there in the original version as an episode, by the end, that becomes a dominant theme. And an entire section, Dutta Ramayana, is added to make this case, where the he, as the king, has to send his wife away to exile, even though he agrees that it is unfair. It is not that the Ramayana justifies uh, Sita's second exile. And Ram himself does not justify it. He agrees it is unfair. He does not uh, remarry. He, in fact, pines for her for the rest of his life. And But as the king, he has to follow the law, even when it is unfair. So this is what comes down to what is Ram Rajya. Now, Ram Rajya is not the kingdom of God. It is not heaven, it is not paradise, it is not perfect. The Indian conception of Ram Raj as the ideal state is one where the ruler himself applies the law to himself. That is Ram Raj, i.e. a place where there is rule of law right through the whole system. So this is a very important thing to understand about the Ramayana. The Ramayana has converts by the end as an argument for the absolute rule of law.